Uh, you're blocking my view. <laughs> even, even if I knew Indonesian, they probably still wouldn't hear me. You're blocking my view. I want to get a shot of this airline coming in. You're blocking my view. She's pretending she doesn't hear me. Here comes in another flight. Yeah, about one jet every 15 minutes. Actually, maybe one jet every 10 minutes. Grizzly Adams. This is Indonesian. It's all bullshit. <laughs> As they pretend them like they pretend like they know where they're going. Look at this kid. Look at his hat. Jesus, my son looked like that. I tell him to take it off his head. He's got a pom pom on his head. God. Oh, I want to. I want to film this. Who would who would dress their son up like this? What's her name? Is she one? Two? One? Where are you from? Huh? One and seven. One and seven months? Where are you from? Russia. My daughter looked just like that when she was that age. She had light blonde hair. I never would have expected it because well, I had blonde hair when I was a kid and my ex kind of did. But then, you know, you get older and then the hair turns darker, right? But both my kids had... Yeah. Yeah, she's so cute. What's her name? Yesenia. Hi. Yeah. She looks so much like my younger daughter. Yeah. Where's your husband? Huh? Coming. Coming, yeah. Yeah. No, um... Time flies by, take advantage of it, because time flies by, like, 20 years just goes by like that. You enjoy your kids now, and I did. I took advantage of my kids when I had them. I got two daughters, and 25 and 20, but 20 years goes by like that. Yeah, well, I can imagine. I think I, think I can almost, uh, I can see how fast almost two years went, so... Probably almost two, from the time she was born till now, almost two years, right? Yeah. Yeah. And quite fast, very fast. Ah, time moves on so quickly. You gotta take advantage of it when you have it, right? Can she talk yet? No. Not yet. Just Wait a minute. No, my my daughters were talking at a year and a half. Yeah. She's she's about a year and a half, right? Well, she's one year and seven months. Well, she'll, she'll be talking soon. I ordered the coconut. Already order. You order in the table or in the front? The coconut. What city in Russia are you from? Moscow. Moscow? Okay. I'm from Canada. It's snowing there right now. Yeah, well, it's it might be snowing in Moscow, too. Almost, yeah, it's, it's snowing. But, uh. Like two degrees. Yeah. Here, you're with the. Uh, alone? I'm, I'm here alone, yeah. Yeah, I invited my girlfriend, but she's busy working and everybody's busy. Everybody's busy. My daughters are busy. Everybody's busy except for me. 
you leave? How long are you here? Uh, three weeks here. I've been here for a few days, and I'm going to the Gili Islands and then Komodo Islands. So the manager found me a deal. I was paying $50 a night for my hotel for three nights. Now I get it for $32 a night. One of the biggest pools for $32. Hey, you can't beat it with a free breakfast. Of course. Like in, Can in Canada, that would be $200 a night. Well, and here, the ocean, the sun. Yeah. I went paragliding this afternoon. I, I actually jumped off a cliff this afternoon and I went paragliding up and down the coast. It was neat. If you haven't done it, I would recommend it. But, you know, you got, I don't know, pass your daughter to your husband and you go paragliding. You would enjoy it. It's just. I've seen you around today. Someone flying up there. Like, I, I've jumped out of an airplane three times, but this was even better than jumping out of an airplane because it's the thermal updrafts, and, and, and you just go up and down the coast like this. And, and the view is amazing. And they give you a camera, and you videotape it yourself. It's just down here. I, I don't know what it's called. It's, it's paragliding, but I would recommend it because you need a break from your daughter. <laughs> like that would be good. <laughs> yeah, anyways, take care. All right, so you see, you see how we can learn from others and how we can teach others. Me, what am I? A learner and a teacher, um, somewhere in between. Anyways, uh, this candle has been lit for me tonight. What does it represent? My dead parents? Me? The possibility of a future with whomever, I don't know. Life is a huge question, but I always put it out there, and it's these closed-minded individuals that piss me off. You know what? The thing that makes me real is the fact that I'm open, and I will never, never change from that. I will always remain open. It's within my nature.